Oma Hung, we take refuge in Lama Yidam Buddha Dharma Sangha, protector for all beings' benefit. Oma Hung, we take refuge in, La in Lama Yidam Buddha Dharma Sangha, protector for all beings' benefit. Oma Hung, we take refuge in Lama Yidam Buddha Dharma Sangha, protector for all beings' benefit. Om ah hung. Good morning, everybody. Hola, amigos. Como esta? I hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you for joining us for our Tuesday live, Instagram live, 11 a.m. Central every Tuesday. My apologies for not uh, being here uh, last week. My husband, Dr. Erickson, filled in for me and uh, guided you all through the five points of meditation which pertains to what we're going to talk about today. So today, I want to share some, um, some truth for you around your cervix and Tantra and how, um, how the human body is literally wired so that sexual pleasure is, is a verified and legitimate pathway to uh, spiritual realization and has been from the moment we were created. That's how nature created us. That's how the divine consciousness and all its wisdom created us so that our sexual pleasure is a pathway to experiencing more of our ultimate nature as divine human beings. So this is really cool. So I've been talking a lot about the cervix the past, uh, the past few newsletters. If you're not signed up for a newsletter, go to AuthenticTantra.com and get our free uh, Intro to Tantra so you're on our newsletter list. But I've been sending out a lot of stuff recently about your cervix and, um, and traumas to the cervix, like things that happen in you know, our modern lives that traumatize the cervix. The, the fact that the cervix is triple innervated, it it's like densely packed with um, nerve fibers and nerve endings giving rise to pleasure. Um, and, and just what a portal this, 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 um, the, your cervix is a portal to, to, to pleasure and a portal to realization. And this is how it works. It's good to see you all. Thank you for joining me. So this is how it works. So, um, you may have heard me talk about this before, but in the core, the core of the energy body in Tibetan Buddhist Tantra. So again, I'm, I'm speaking to you about Tantra from the Tibetan Buddhist framework. That's the, the, uh, the tradition that I practice and teach within. So the energy body is a big deal in Tantra, right? So we've got our physical body and we've got our energy body. And the core of the energy body is something called your central channel. Uh, in Tibetan, it's called the Umanadi. And in uh, Hindu Tantra, it's called the Shushumna Nadi. So in North America, <laughs> we just call it the central channel. So the central channel, think of it like the trunk of a tree, right? So it is the core of the life force energy in your body. And all of your chakras or energy centers are aligned along the central channel. And each of those chakras then has these branches that split into two and split into two and split into two and become this whole network of subtle energetic channels that go through your whole body. And in Tibetan medicine and Tibetan Buddhism, the energy body is senior or superior to the physical body. So everything in this physical reality manifests energetically before it does physically, right? So similar to the law of attraction, right? But this is like for real ancient science for over 17,000 years, right? So the energy body is superior to the physical body. So the energy body is kind of like what your physical body is kind of is a manifestation of your energy body. But for our purposes, what we want to focus on is the central channel, which, the, which is the core of that life force energy in the body, right? So you may have also heard me share the teaching that in Vajrayana Tantra, it's understood that at the moment of orgasm, the moving pranas or winds in the genitals brush the central channel and we get a glimpse of enlightenment. So literally, y'all, every orgasm is a glimpse or a taste of enlightenment. So one of the purposes of sexual tantra is to be able to get more than a glimpse of enlightenment. I don't want a glimpse of enlightenment. I want to live in enlightenment. I want to bathe in enlightenment. I want to bask in enlightenment because enlightenment is bliss. If you think of that moment of orgasm, even if it's a shitty orgasm, it's still blissful, right? And think of the best orgasm you've ever had, the best and longest orgasm that you've ever had and multiply that by a hundred that's enlightenment and that's our potential and our orgasm is a glimpse of our full potential well here's the other thing 
your cervix and your womb, the central channel passes right through your cervix, which is the mouth of your uterus. So your central channel is passing pretty much straight through that, 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 that line, you know, give or take a little bit. So your cervix is literally a portal into your central channel. It literally is like a, a, a a, a, a pathway to your central channel. It's literally your central channel is right there and your cervix is right there. It's literally a connector into your central channel. So if a clitoral orgasm is a glimpse of enlightenment, imagine what a cervical orgasm is. Your cervix is already a portal into your central channel and orgasm opens, brings the winds, brings the awareness, brings the consciousness into the central channel to experience its bliss enlightened nature. And your cervix, again, is a key pathway to accessing that central channel. So what do you think cervical orgasm are going to do for you. What do you think cervical orgasms can do for us? It's a huge, huge opening. It's a huge portal into our enlightened consciousness. So I don't know how many of y'all have had cervical orgasms, but when I'm having cervical orgasms, like my eyes will roll back in my head. I'm like literally flying in bliss. My mouth is open and like, I'm not even conscious or aware of my breath. All I'm aware of is void bliss pleasure when I'm in the space of cervical orgasms. It's literally like your consciousness resting in the central channel and flying there, expanding there. And with Tantra, we learn methods to do more than just glimpse, more than just taste enlightenment. We learn how to be present, relaxed, and aware in that spacious, open, bliss void awareness. That's what sexual Tantra is. And your cervix is a key pathway to accessing that even more fully and more completely. The other cool thing about the cervix is in Taoist sexu sexual reflexology. And you can actually Google that book, uh, Taoist sexual reflexology. It's a very good book. I highly recommend it for all sex seekers because that's some really good info. So in Taoist sexual reflexology, the cervix is the heart point right? It's the heart point. So when the tip of the lingam is massaging or your finger is massaging the cervix, you're massaging the heart point in reflexology. The other thing, combining that with Tibetan, Tibetan five element tantra is the heart is space element. The cervix is also space element as is the central channel. So when you're accessing and massaging and pleasuring the cervix, you are literally, according to Taoist reflexology, accessing, massaging, and, and balancing that heart point. And in Tibetan Five Element Tantra, you're accessing and working with your space element, which guess what, where the space element lives? In your heart center. Your space element is a heart center. So your heart center and your cervix are intricately connected in your energy body. It's so cool how all this stuff overlaps and intertwines and all again demonstrates how we as human beings, our precious human bodies are literally designed so that pleasure is a pathway to experiencing more of our ultimate consciousness, more of our Buddha nature, which according to my Lama is simply being a mature human. Being enlightened isn't this grandiose thing. It's actually very regular. It's actually, actually just being able to live our day-to-day -day life with an awareness that's beyond concept, beyond ego, beyond suffering, beyond the confines of this reality. I'm not enlightened yet, so I'm just reporting. <laughs> just reporting what I've heard and the little glimpses that I've got along the way. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm fully realized because I absolutely am not. But I love all of these instructions and methods that have been handed to us to help us cultivate a life and an experience that's more in line with our full and ultimate nature as human beings. Right. And so that's what Tantra is. So I think I said everything I wanted to say about the cervix. So it's uh, the central channel and the cervix rests right on top of it. So you're like plugging in. That's what it is. You're plugging into the central channel through cervical pleasure and through cervical stimulation. It's also, again, the heart point in Taoist sexual reflexology. And the cervix corresponds with a heart center in Tibetan five element Tantra. So I'm going to invite you all to bring this into your lovemaking, whether you're making love to yourself, because I've had all kinds of wonderful cervical orgasms with just me and my 
fingers and my toys, my tool, my honey dipper wands. Or if you're making love with a partner with their fingers or their lingam or a toy that they're using, any time you are stimulating the cervix, know that you are cultivating and opening a portal into your central channel and into your enlightened awareness. And that is the power of human sexual pleasure. So there's some other really cool stuff in Tibetan Buddhism and Tibetan medicine I'm going to share with you next week. And one of them is how we can heal karma. We can heal previous lifetimes and we can heal ancestral trauma and ancestral karma through sexual pleasure and the downward voiding winds and the very subtle mind. So next Tuesday, 11 a.m., I'm gonna explain all that to you uh, and make sure you sign up for our newsletter at AuthenticTantra.com so you can get all of our cool information and um, sign up for a free introduction to Authentic Tantra so you understand more about the energy body and Tibetan five element Tantra, which is medicine, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. It's such a pleasure to connect with you. Peace and blessings.